Yeah, um, it was pretty unfortunate. Uh, there's nothing really you can do about it, and obviously um, it's not how you plan to have the end of your season. Um, but I, I do remember sitting on the couch at home watching uh, game two and seeing Pat get that knock up the middle to put us up. And, you know, I got really excited and uh, I kind of jumped up and it, it hurt my stomach. Um, but, yeah, it definitely didn't sit well with me just knowing that, you know, I couldn't be out there with my teammates. Like, there really wasn't anything I could do to help the team win. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, um, I think a lot of it is learning from the older guys. So my first two years here, um, we had really good leaders and just kind of learning from them and what they do um, to be a physical leader, leading by example, and then also being a vocal leader, knowing when to, to talk and speak up. Um, and Danny Soretti and Angel Zarate are obviously two of those guys that I really learned from. And then this summer, um, living with uh, – Will Sandy and having Frick on our team uh, up in the Cape. Um, it was really good to like connect with them and and build that relationship even stronger because I feel like us three and some other guys are, are going to be leaders on this team. So the Cape, the Cape, the Cape. The Cape. Oh. Cape, yes sir. Um, it was a really fun uh, summer experience. Um, really lucked out um, being able to live with Sandy um, and having Frick on the team. Made it a little easier transition because um, I came a little later um, to the Cape, missing a month. And, um, you know, just kind of learning uh, on that team because I got there and, and Sandy kind of brought out more personality in me just because that's the way he is. Um, he's really vocal. And, and being around him just just really helped. Do you notice any differences in the locker room as you build up to the season considering how you guys went last year? Mm-hmm. Some of the preseason moments that have been created for you guys? Yeah. Um, last year when we went on that run, um, you could definitely feel the team chemistry that we had. Not that we didn't have it at the beginning of the season or when we were going through a little rough patch, but you could really feel the, that everyone was bought in, uh, everyone was pulling for each other. And I feel like we have that chemistry now before the season even starts. Um, so just being able to keep that, and obviously once the season starts, um, everyone's going to have a role, and some people might not like that role. So just making sure as we move along that everyone's still bought in so we can keep that, that chemistry where it needs to be. Really good chemistry as a double play combination with Colby at, at second. How, how's that uh, adjustment with him at short? Um, it's good. I love him there. Um, I think he, he can play any position. Um, he's very versatile. Um, but, I mean, a lot of it has to do with, you know, making sure we get the first out. Um, but he definitely helped me out quite a bit because with him, I, I felt like I could throw it anywhere at the bag and he would turn it. So, um, but I feel confident whoever is there is going to get the job done. So. As far as that play, the first two years you kind of started a little slow and then heated up as the season progressed. Is that something you thought about this off season? How do I start hot, stay hot versus start slow, get hot? Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, I definitely have thought about it, um, but it's really not a worry of mine. Um, just. This being my third year, um, you know, you learn a lot in the two years. And I think going through a, a slow start and struggling, um, it really can only help you. Um, so just being able to um, know that, you know, I'm not going to get a hit every time. I might go 0 for 10 at some point, like just not to worry about it because everything's going to work out. And uh, as long as I'm confident and uh, staying positive, like everything will work out. So. Um, I would probably say Bryce Blazer. Um, that kid is is straight 
competitive as you can get. Um, I mean, he goes to bed at 8.30 every single day and gets up at 5.30, so that's something I wish I could do. Um, but, I mean, he he's the definition of, of discipline and having a routine, and I think in the long run that, that'll only help him. Cool.